My name is Joshua Yunbora, and I'm the CEO of Greital Company Limited. Uh, Greital is into the manufacture of natural dried fruit snacks, and these include dried pineapple, dried mango, dried coconut, and dried papaya, including variations such as uh, pineapple with ginger, pineapple with chili, and then coconut with honey. And uh, this business started uh, about six years ago, mainly focusing on farming as its core business. And then whilst looking for financing to migrate into the processing space. But this took about six years to find the right kind of financing. And that was where Hotty Fresh came into the picture because Hotty Fresh had a different approach to raising financing by looking at co-financing models where investors bring a part of the money and then businesses contribute a part of the money to raise the financing. And that was the beginning of the processing step for us. It was very difficult to raise money in Ghana because of interest rates and also because of uh, the requirements for collateral equating to the amount of money uh, you want to raise. But coming in with Hotty Fresh, it took us about six months. They assisted us with business planning. The assisters put together a financial model and this was submitted to the first partner. The first partner didn't really like the business. The second partner approved it and that was where the financing was raised to establish this processing facility where we are adding value to uh, the fresh materials that we buy from other farmers. I think uh, being a small business and uh, partnering with different development partners, I think Hotty Fresh has been the most productive and uh, the most useful partnership we have had. I mentioned earlier that they helped us in business planning as well as financial modeling. A lot of investors will sit back and expect that you would bring all these documents ready, but uh, Hotty Fresh starts with you from the basic to make sure you are investor ready and to find you the right uh, investor. But the relationship never ended there. Um, during the virtual uh, B2B sessions, lots of companies were organized from Netherlands and U Europe at large to meet companies in Ghana that had products that they were interested in. And this was also the beginning for greater things for greater. It was during these sessions that we had our first export market, which would have otherwise been difficult to penetrate because we didn't know how to approach customers and customers didn't also know how to find us. So this is a very important um, partnership for us, apart from the fundraising, helping us find the market and even helping us deal with difficult situations. I remember our first export did not go well. Hotty Fresh stepped in to speak to the client and also kind of have a, re a situation resolved and go to the next day. So this wasn't just a partnership for fundraising, but for business development and then for growth as well. So uh, I'll start by talking about the most recent intervention that Hotty Fresh assisted us with. And that was with helping us raise a 50,000 euro financing to purchase a second dryer, which we very much needed to expand our capacity. Apart from that, our very first dryer, which we bought behind me here, was financed through the help of Hotty Fresh. And then these were some of the achievements that we have made. Apart from uh, these interventions, the business development cases have also been really good for us in helping us understand growth in general. And uh, if not for Hotty Fresh, I don't think we would have started processing yet. We would still be fundraising out there and I'm not sure we would have gotten the money we needed by now. So prior to Hotty Fresh, we had issues that every farmer had, which was usually at the end of the harvest cycle, you are faced with either products you cannot sell or very selective buyers. Our post-harvest losses were ranging between 25 to 35%. But since Hotty Fresh intervention, we are able to process all the fruits we, we produce and also even buy from smallholder farmers. And this has reduced the post-harvest losses for us and our partner farmers from about 35 to about 5%. Apart from that, the company used to employ about 10 people. And now with the intervention of Hotty Fresh, we are currently employing 28 people from the factory and the farm combined. And looking forward to doubling this number in the next two months when the new dryer I spoke about early arrived. In one word, I would describe this partnership with uh, Hotty Fresh as uh, splendid uh, because it was a very smooth relationship and it's continuing going to be a, a smooth relationship for us. It's very hard to criticize a very good and excellent relationship, uh, but I think um, Hotty Fresh has done a lot for us. And if there was any other thing I could add to the already good work that Hotty Fresh has done, 
um, I would say that um, HortiFresh uh, should speak to more investors and uh, look out for more financing options, even considering equity as well, except uh, for co-financing step only. I mean, to the embassy of uh, Netherlands, all I want to say is that the HortiFresh has been the most successful program I have seen or I have participated in, and similar projects should be brought to bear because it not only looked at training, but it looked at solving critical issues for smallholder farmers as well as processors like ourselves. And for the partners involved, um, the training provided has been successful and we hope that the next time this program is rolled, in the, either with a different name or the same name, such things will be repeated to benefit other smallholder businesses. Mm -hmm.